Right then, this is a walk around video, and this is for a Honda CRV 1.6 Navigator. You can see here, finishing this beautiful red, and this is the facelift version, which you can tell immediately by the front end, new grille, lights, etc. Uh, the car is in absolutely wonderful condition, it really is. Front of the car there, absolutely clean. Bonnet, again, exceptionally clean. There will be a stone chip somewhere, but you know, very, very hard to see or spot. Come to the near side, passenger side of the car, and it is mirror smooth in the panel work, absolutely beautiful. Near side front alloy, unmarked, Michelin tyre on there. Panels, then aside, absolutely wonderful. Rear wheel, again, absolutely clean as a whistle, and that's a Goodyear tyre on the back there. And then around the back of the vehicle, again, exceptionally clean. Coming to the off side of the car, again, panels just pristine, absolutely beautifully clean. And then matching tyre for the back with the Goodyear, and alloy, absolutely perfect. And there's tons of tread of these tyres as well, by the way. So panel back there, absolutely superb. Off side front alloy with the Michelin tyre, again to match the other front, so really good brand tyres all around. Uh, again, this virtually has new on the front, uh, but it really is a beautiful looking car in lovely, lovely condition. It's coming into the boot area now, absolutely enormous boots in these CRVs, and it's been kept really, really nicely back here. Coming into the back, enormous amounts of rooms, room in the CRVs, leg room there, front seats are set for me and I'm over six foot tall, so I'm not cheating, and the seats are in excellent condition. Front passenger door card, again, as with all the others, in really, really lovely condition. Footwell area, again, all very clean and tidy, as is the front passenger seat there as well. It's finally come to the driver's door card, again, absolutely as clean as a whistle, as is the footwell areas. And driver's seat, again, in really, really good condition there. So sat inside the car now. Engines running through sections so the dash can be seen illuminated. Dash working exactly as intended. Sat nav, you can see they're working perfectly. It doesn't have wavy lines, of course, it's just the video is on the picks up on these things. Um, pop the car into reverse. Got that lovely, clear, big rear parking camera. Um, dual zone climate control system. But it's all in really, really fabulous condition in here. If we come with the main binnacle. Hopefully you can see there, 65,116 miles and there are no warning lights on the dashboard at all. Um, Multifunction steering wheel, hands-free, auto lights, auto wipers, light. Good, sorry, not auto, it's not on that model, sorry, I do apologise. Um, but you've got the hands-free functions, cruise control and radio controls on there. Uh, but it is in fabulous condition in here. Just to quickly show you, owner's manual pack and lock and wheel nut key, both here and present with the car. So finally, just to come under another wonderfully presented engine bay. This is the way with Honda. Do these things really, really rather nicely. It's all been kept again really nicely under here. Right then, this is a quick road test video. And this is for a Honda CRV, and it's the 1.6S Navigator model. Uh, this particular car is registered. You can read it from here. SJ16 ONV. And mileage is showing at 65,101 miles. The reason we do these videos essentially is so that if anyone's looking at this car in an advert online, they actually get to see that very car in operation. Um, we have customers who are willing to travel huge distances to come and see our cars, so the least we feel we should be doing is to do this and go to the time and effort to do it. Um, we know just how frustrating it can be to see a car advertised which can look great in the photos and in the description only to get there and find out when you drive it it's got a fundamental problem that would show up on test drive um, and that can be as I said, a really frustrating and a complete waste of your time. Um, the road test is also done on part of the road test route any prospective buyer will go on hopefully in that sense then you'd get a uh, same feedback as I get when I'm driving the car. So coming to the car itself, um, 
very well looked after vehicle and I have to say immediately feels like it it feels incredibly tight and taut engine starts absolutely instantly of course being a honda and settles to a completely smooth even idle there are no warning lights on the dashboard relating to the engine or any other part of the car and temp temperature gauge is running as a third which is exactly where it's meant to be on a honda car and the vehicle's been running for well over two hours now so clearly well up to operating temperature uh, the engines are just brilliant units um, don't for a second think that you know, because it's only a 1.6 that's not big enough for a you know, car of this size um, nothing could be further from the truth actually we've been selling crvs for many many years um, and this feels more sprightly than the um, 2.2s it, it, initial pickup and go is very impressive indeed uh, what is astonishing is the fuel economy you can get out of these things um, you know you shouldn't get less than 50 you can get 60 um, I tend to get somewhere between the two if I'm all if I'm honest um, but it's all about how you drive them you get them up into the gears more quickly follow the prompt on the dashboard use the torque of the engine if you labor them in the gears like a petrol car then obviously um, fuel economy suffers but it is a simply brilliant engine on top of which you know its reliability and durability is absolutely unmatched in its class engine then feeds through into the clutch and gearbox clutch on the car absolutely perfect bite points exactly where it's meant to be and then it's nice and smooth in operation gearbox as i said before many videos on crvs is just a class act it's short snappy and throw really direct and it's just a very sporty feeling gearbox you know much more so than you'd expect for this type of car and i can feel absolutely no wear in it at all steering on the car uh, while i'm at maximum speed here tracks absolutely dead straight there's no vibrations at all at this speed or any speed up to the legal limit um, but it's a lovely power steering system it's very nicely weighted it makes the car feel really positive and hunker down on the road um, but it is very precise and accurate as well um, much more so again than you expect for this type of vehicle um, and again it just you know there's no wear in it they can be felt whilst driving the car feels just as new the chassis of the vehicle um, which works wonderfully well with the steering um, it's very fluid in its controls um, or in its actions rather it's got a very nicely damped ride it's very comfortable indeed and what they've achieved is you know a good level of comfort on the straight ahead but excellent uh, body control through the sort of tighter corners so when you sort of throw it into the corners at sort of slightly higher speed like this one here there's hardly any body motion at all um, compared to lots of its competitors um, and that's particularly important for rear seat passengers it might get sort of swayed about quite a lot uh, also, by the way, there's absolutely no noises coming from underneath the vehicle at all, no chattering or knocking noises at all. Um, having said that, it's all going to be checked, hopefully tomorrow, when it has an independent MOT placed upon it as part of the sale of the vehicle. Brakes on the car are absolutely fantastic. The really solid brake pedal. I can't do it now. Unfortunately, the tractor's in front, but I did try to check them out earlier. They bite really well. There's no um, pulsing or vibrations coming back through the brake pedal at all, so all absolutely spot on there as well. Um, looking around inside the car, uh, again, as I repeat quite often on these videos, especially with CRV, I mean, they're just beautifully, beautifully made cars. No squeaks, no rattles, no nothing at all from the inside it's just a really really well put together car and a really lovely place to sit unfortunately with the sun coming down it's a bit glary now so it doesn't really do justice to it um, but it's, it really is a great dashboard because it gives you the information it's not over showy it's very practical to use sat nav these big screen sat navs are lovely and simple to operate um, all working perfectly as you can see there um, dual zone climate control so you can have different temperatures side to side um, it's currently 25 degrees outside, it's a really lovely roasting hot day um, and the air conditioning is absolutely ice cold in there. Um, all the switch gear has got a lovely quality of actuation to it as well by the way, as typical of Honda. They do these things so well, it might seem trivial, but these sorts of things, it's those little bits of attention to detail that spread through the whole of the vehicle. Um, yeah, they're not perfect, but they do this kind of stuff so, so well indeed. Um, multifunction steering wheel feels pretty much as new in hand 
cruise control, hands-free functions, all working as they should. Uh, dashboard is simple, easy, and legible. Um, it really is a, just a fabulous, fabulous vehicle. You can see why they're so sought after second-hand, and they ca carry a premium over sort of uh, competitive makes because they manage to give you, you know, really good family car that's actually very nice to look at, very nice to sit in and drive. But has all the sort of hallmarks you'd expect from Honda in terms of, you know, reliability and quality of uh, engineering over the sort of life of the car. Um, as I said at the start of the video, the point of it is literally just to show the car in operation um, and to feedback on any issues, of which there's nothing at all. It drives absolutely beautifully. Um, as always, though, if you've got any questions about the car, don't hesitate. Please do give us a call.